Today we want to learn a little about our forecasting economics and graphics system. So we we'll click on FEGS Administrator and we'll see that the Administrator and the Navigator come up. The Navigator selects leases with which to work and the Administrator operates on those leases. Let's look at the data that is in the system. First, there are property records. These property records contain demographic information, pricing, costs, and so forth. They contain cumulative production information, well count, and engineering data if, av if available, prices, escalation codes, and price adjustments, plus costs and Tax data are shown on the Prices and Costs tabs. And on the Interest tab, we see Oil and Gas Working Interest and Revenue Interest. With regard to Decline Data, that's shown on the Decline Data tab and includes both Exponential, Hyperbolic, and Hyperbolic converting to Exponential. With regard to historical production data, we have history records which show the producing history of the lease. by year, by month. Escalation data are shown in escalation files. And they include beginning level if provided, which overrides what's in the property record, plus escalation from that point forward. Entity records interest files contain ownership information for various owners that may be in the lease. And with regard to graphics information, we have the decline curve, which shows historical production and future production. As far as reporting, we can do a forecast report on a property based on the decline curve information and we see its typical 20 column report with gross production, net production, pricing, sales income, taxes, marketing and operating expenses, which when deducted from gross income gives us net operating income and from that are subtracted costs to give us undiscounted and discounted cash flow and a total undiscounted cash flow for the property. If we navigate from lease to lease or to any particular lease we see the value for that property. Everything is tightly coupled so that if we get the decline curve, it goes with the production data, goes with the economics, and even in the decline curve page is shown the PV10 for that property. The navigator can look at the entire file. It can look at certain selected leases. And we 
can select and sort as we choose for any input demographic item. There is a generic report capability which allows us to sort and select not only on input items but on calculated results. So here we've selected all of the leases whose discounted cash flow was greater than $5,000 and we've, dis we've sorted them into descending discounted cash flow order. So that if we use this report and went to the decline curve, you would see the leases in descending discounted cash flow order. Tomorrow we'll learn more about the subtle features of the system, but for day but for today, that's it.